Fashion is making a case for the Tool Tutu comeback. So we're making sure you know how to style it. Now, to keep everyone safe, we are keeping everyone at home, except for me. But that's okay. I've taken a rapid test. I'm all good. So let's head over to Julia Greaves' house to talk cool tool. I'm so excited about this, Jules. Hey, Trace, I'm so excited, you know, to talk about this, but Tracy, actually more excited to get my friends out of storage. These girls have been hanging in the basement for far too long. They are now up with me in the kitchen, and we're going to show you basically how to rock tool. Now, with the comeback of Sex in the City and Just Like That, it sort of brings to mind that opening scene of, you know, Carrie, Sarah Jessica Parker running through New York in that ballerina tutu, which for the record was thrifted for $5. You've seen it on the runways from like um, Chanel, Roca, like it's just basically everywhere and it is such an easy thing to do. Why don't you walk through some ways that we can style our tool? Okay, I will tell you that. You do not need to be a ballerina or a bride to wear it. Okay, let's just get that right out. So the first one that I've done, this is what I like to call the non-committed. Okay, you just kind of want to try the trend, get into it. Very simple. All you're going to do is add a little tool to an existing outfit that you have. So this all black outfit is very Chanel-ish. It was on the runways this season. All I did was literally get about two meters of tool, tuck it into the back of the skirt. You could either pin it or sew it or just literally tuck it in. Or Tracy, what I'm wearing, this is like what I like to refer to as the tool belt. <laughs> so I literally just tied it around my skirt. I have it for the day, you know, at lunchtime, if I'm over the tool, off comes the belt. <laughs> so it's just a really fun way of, you know, taking your basic pieces and taking it up a bit. Now, Tracy, this one is so gorgeous. If you were lucky enough to have any of these tool dresses in your closet or like this red one I thrifted for $12, it's so awesome to get them out and wear them, not formal, wear them during the day. I've styled it with that oversized sort of boxy blazer, put it with a pair of little red ankle boots. So you've got that sort of day feeling with that, you know, very fancy tool feeling at the same time. That is right up my alley. I love the blazer and I love that you're pulling that out and going to the coffee shop. Like that to me, that's how I want to live my life. Right. I like that. Okay, what is your yes. next look? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is a really simple one as well. This is also, honestly another little vintage find. I thrifted this years ago, Tracy, and what it is is basically a tulle petticoat. So it's just something I have in my closet all the time and you just put it under any existing skirt that you have. So you can just take it and play with it like that. I've styled it with a nice little sweatshirt from Preloved, of course, and little loafers. So again, that sort of athleisure, comfortable wear with the tool. So, so cute. Super cute. I'm loving that look. Okay, next you have this beautiful uh, blue. I mean, talk about monochromatic dream. That's gorgeous. Right? Okay. And this, Tracy, is the DIY. The, you, I know you've been waiting for it. It is the, take it even one step further, the no so DIY. So this is the iconic tutu that you've seen and that we've been talking about. It is so simple to make. I made this. Now I styled it with, again, that chunky sweater to get that day feel with it. And then underneath it, I have just like a little slip skirt that I put underneath. Because just please do keep in mind, your tool skirts are a little bit see-through, <laughs> not gonna lie. So it's so easy to make them. I am going to show you so fast. Are you ready? Let's do I'm it. I'm so ready for this. I mean, the fact that you said the key words, no, so, means I'm completely in. I am committed. And no one does a no, so DIY like Julia does a no, so DIY. So how do we start this one? And it doesn't even have glue. Can you imagine? <laughs> so really, you need like three things, maybe four. Let me see. So you have tool. You're going to need tool fabric. You're going to need elastic for your waistband. You're going to need scissors, of course. And then the secret ingredient, a dryer sheet. Hmm. I will tell you why you need a dryer sheet in a moment. Okay? So what you want to do is probably get about three to four meters of the tool. And honestly, it costs about $3 a meter. So, you know, knock yourself out and get five meters. So what you want to do, the first thing is take your tool and fold it in half. So you can see here, I've got two layers, okay? So you're just going to fold it in half like that. Then you're going to cut probably about two inches wide strips. So we're just going to cut down like this. And the nice thing, Tracy, 
because you're wearing this tulle fabric, you can just cut it like even like Frankenstein and it doesn't matter. It doesn't mm. show any of those faults. So you've got a strip like this, okay? So once you keep, now you're gonna need about a million strips, I'm not gonna okay. lie. So you're gonna keep cutting strips like crazy. Take your waistband, so your elastic waistband, measure it around your waist so it's not too tight, okay? Then here's the fun part. We're gonna take our strips, Trace, okay? Got them folded like this, okay? The first thing I like to do is give them a little tug to get a bit of the elastic out of it, okay? Then take our waistband and then you're going to just open it up like this and then you're gonna flip it through and we're making knots, almost oh. like tying a tie. Okay. There we go, so it looks like that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is just keep doing that all the way along. So I can show you, I've sort of got one a little further here. So can you see this, how oh, we're getting get these it. away? So you can, do you see it? Yeah. Okay, look if I do like that, right? Yeah. And you just keep going and going all the way around. So it's it's a little bit, little bit time consuming, a little <laughs> bit, but really fun and super easy to do. Now, do you want me to tell you about the dryer sheet and why you need it? Yeah, tell me about the dryer sheet. Like where are you even gonna put that? Okay, I'm gonna tell you about it. Okay, the one thing about tool, it is very staticky. Yeah. It sticks to everything. So as you're making it, take your dryer sheet and just rub it down the tool. And it will start to take away all of that static so that you can then add on the next strip. So you can just sort of see here. See how it's just getting a nice little, gets a little flatter mm -hmm. and easier to work with. And that is it. To me, it's worth it. I, I will do the time in. consuming if I don't have to sew. Like. I, I, it's worth right? it for me. Yeah. You know what, Trey? It's almost methodic. You just sort of sit here, mm. keep making them, and they're so fun to wear. I mean, all the girls love them, and if anyone's having any sort of like summer gatherings with kids or whatever, such a fun little thing to make, right? Yeah, and it, I feel like that look just makes you feel happy. Like, you can't throw on a tool anything and be pissed off. Like, it's just going to elevate your mood. So, <laughs> thank you so much for that DIY, Jules. <laughs> that is it. It is. That is it. It's the mood booster. You can't be in a bad mood wearing a tutu. It's impossible. Wearing a tutu. 